What's up everyone? My name is Allison. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about the loungewear that I've been living in lately. And I've been meaning to make a dedicated loungewear video for a while now, but I did want to get more of the like fall fashion videos up first. So if you're interested in getting more actual fashion inspiration, I'll link all of the fall related fashion videos that I made recently. But ever since daylight savings happened and all of a sudden it got so much colder, I have been even less willing to change out of my sweat. So yeah, for this video, I'm not gonna be showing you every single loungewear piece of clothing that I have, but I just wanted to make a chatty little video sharing some of my favorites and some that stand out. And if you have any specific loungewear brands or pieces that you feel very passionately about, then definitely leave me a recommendation in the comments below. All right, let's just get started with the hoodie that I'm wearing right now. This is probably one of my favorite hoodies of all time and I will never get rid of it. But this hoodie is actually from a Korean brand called Mix Mix and I don't know if they still make it. I got this hoodie maybe two years ago and I think I still saw it online last year, but it came in a bunch of different colors and I believe some like K-pop idols and actors either were promoting the brand or just like happened to be wearing this hoodie. And I remember paying $20 to get this hoodie shipped to me, but honestly, no regrets. I freaking love this mustard color. And while I was debating ordering it, I was like looking for alternatives to see if I could find a similarly colored hoodie, but all of the yellow hoodies that I found were like a very bright primary or highlighter color yellow. And this is just like the perfect muted, more mustard toned yellow that I think is really flattering and isn't too loud or anything. It's a really nice high quality hoodie. It's really thick. It has the like fleece lining inside. And yeah, this one is just really warm and cozy, but still very stylish and fashionable. And I would highly recommend adding a yellow hoodie to your collection. It also has some really cute embroidery that says Heart Club right here which I believe is the line of clothing under Mix Mix that this hoodie is from. And then on the back of the hoodie near the butt area, it says Heart Club with red embroidery and it's really cute. All right, I guess I'll just get all my colorful hoodies out of the way, but my next one is this baby Barbie pink color. This hoodie is from Michelle Choi's merch line called Little Puffy, and it's screen printed with this illustration of a girl sitting in a cup noodle bath. I wasn't actually expecting to like this hoodie so much because I kind of ordered it at the last minute when Michelle announced that she was going to be donating all of the proceeds to Black Lives Matter. And by the time I ordered, there weren't that many sizes or colors left in stock. So I ended up getting the pink one in a size large and I actually love it so much. Honestly, Michelle did such a good job at choosing the products and the colors for all of her merch. I feel like this pink is a really unique color. It has a lot of white in it and also has a bit more of a blue undertone. And of course the hoodie is super cozy and warm. It has the um, fleece lining again. It's not super, super thick, like it's not as thick as my mustard hoodie, but I think it's the perfect weight and you can wear it year round. I'm also not the biggest fan of graphics on clothing. I feel like I used to buy a lot of things because I thought the graphic was really cute or quirky or clever, but I would always decide not to wear it because I was like, too anxious of what other people would think when they saw the graphic or something. I know some people wear clothes that are like a conversation starter, but I am the kind of person who wants to avoid any kind of contact. But yeah, that being said, I have no qualms about wearing this hoodie. I mean, I have been staying at home most of the time, but I reach for this hoodie all the time and I would have no problem wearing it out. <laughs> all right, next up we have a hoodie that I bought simply just for the color of it. And I have actually accumulated quite the collection of green slash teal colored sweatshirts, but the color of this hoodie is my favorite. And look, I found a nail polish that matches really perfectly. This has been my favorite color for 2020 and I'm excited that I was able to find this hoodie at H&M. I'm not sure about the quality of this hoodie in particular. I haven't had the best luck with H&M sweats in the past, but this one is holding up pretty well so far. This one is a much lighter weight hoodie, but it is still lined with the fleece inside. And I sized up to a medium in this one and to give it a bit more of a baggy, cozy fit. The last hoodie that I wanted to talk about is my perfect, oh, no! got lip gloss on my hoodie. The perfect hoodie from TNA at Aritzia. I discovered the TNA sweats this year and holy moly, they are so good. I'm trying to decide if this hoodie or my yellow hoodie is thicker. I think the yellow hoodie is a little bit thicker and heavier, but I would describe this hoodie to be thick but lightweight, if that makes sense. The fabric just feels very fluffy, and I know that the yellow hoodie has like a much more oversized baggy fit to it, but the fabric of this hoodie has a lot more weight and drapes with a lot more heaviness, whereas this one keeps its shape really well. TNA has a bunch of different styles of hoodies and sweats, so 
definitely check it out because they also just did a whole rename of everything. But I believe this one is still called The Perfect Hoodie. It has more of a standard fit that isn't too oversized or anything, but this is a size small, so I didn't really size up and I think this one still has a really nice fit to it. These sweats are a little bit pricey, but honestly, I think they're so worth it. These are definitely the softest and probably the warmest sweats that I have. To match with the light gray hoodie, I also have the light gray sweatpants. I think these are the boyfriend sweats, and I really like these as well. They're the exact same fabric as the hoodie, super soft and warm and fleecy on the inside, and I really like the fit of these joggers. I have them in a size extra small, and they fit me really well. They're a mid-rise fit, which I think is more comfortable. And there's a little bit of this elastic paneling on the side, which I'm not sure is just for looks, but I imagine that it actually helps retain the shape of the pants a little bit better. I'll just go ahead and finish up talking about all the pants I wanted to share. So the next pair are these black joggers that I actually got off of Amazon. I got these pants a couple of months ago when it was still really warm, and these pants are fantastic for a year round. I love a pair of black joggers because I feel like they're the easiest to dress up and wear out. And I was specifically looking for a pair that was going to be really breathable and 100% cotton. So I found these from the brand Find, like I said, on Amazon. They're like 15 bucks and these are some of my favorite pants now. They're super soft and the weight of the fabric is perfect. I like the fit of them. They're really nice and relaxed, but then they taper a little bit at the bottom. These do have a higher rise than the TNA ones, but um, still really comfortable. The only thing is that I feel like I can see the black dye fading a little bit, especially in the elastic waistband, but I mean, honestly, it's loungewear, and if it gets really bad, then maybe I'll just try dyeing it black again. <laughs> Next up, I have these knit sweats from Zara, and I got a bunch of these towards the beginning of lockdown, and then stopped wearing them for a bit because it got too hot, but now that it's starting to get cold again, I pulled these back out, and I do really like them. They're made out of this really soft ribbed material that just feels like you're wearing a cozy sweater on your bottom and feel a little bit more luxurious in a way than typical sweats. I will say that anything made out of this ribbed material for pants are going to pill like crazy, especially on the butt area. I definitely need to go in with the depiller on this area right here, but to be honest, since I'm just wearing these at home, I don't really care that much, and I feel like the pills are just gonna come back really quickly. And then lastly, I have one more pair of pants to talk about, and these are actually more of a summer loungewear pants, but these are actually my favorite loungewear pants when it's a lot warmer. These are from Uniqlo and they're probably not on the website anymore, but I think these were called the cotton straight leg cropped pants or something like that. These are also 100% cotton, but they're very different from my black sweats. It almost has more of a linen feel to it that is a little bit stiffer and a lot more lightweight. But yeah, I'm very particular about overheating in my loungewear, so I always like to have a range of different styles depending on how hot or cold it is. And these are my favorite summer everyday loungewear pants. They're not joggers and they have a bit more of a typical cropped pant fit, but of course the elastic waistband makes things super, super comfortable. And I just found the material of these to be so lightweight and so breathable. And I always prefer my loungewear pants to be something that I could wear outside and feel totally normal in. Okay, so that covers all of the pants I wanted to talk about and now we have our last category, which is crew necks. I'm honestly more excited about my hoodies in general, but if I'm gonna be real, I actually wear my crew neck sweatshirts so much more. They're just a lot more comfortable because you don't have the hood like choking your neck. And they're just more lightweight, less bulky, and easy to layer with. The first crew neck that I wanted to talk about is this guy right here from Hanes. I feel like Hanes and Fruit of the Loom are probably some of the most popular affordable sweatshirt brands. And I have to say that this sweatshirt feels noticeably cheaper than all of my other ones. The fabric on the outside really isn't all that soft. It is lined on the inside with the brushed fleece, but it does feel quite thin. But to be honest, even though it's not as soft or plush as some of my other sweatshirts, I love wearing this sweatshirt and find it to be so, so comfortable. I feel like because the fabric is so lightweight and holds its shape, not like carrying around this heavy mass of fabric all day. I love the fit of these in a men's medium on me. And again, I like how oversized it is, but it doesn't feel like the fabric is weighing me down. I believe Hanes does have different styles of sweatshirts made with different materials, so I would specifically recommend this one, which says their ultimate cotton on the tag. And it's made with 90% cotton and only 10% polyester. Next up, I have another green sweatshirt, and this one is a crew neck from Uniqlo. Uniqlo honestly has so many good basics. This one is from the men's section, and I think it retails for $20 or $30. 
but I snagged it for $10 because I think they were having like an end of season sale on the seasonal colors. Again, I love the color of this and I've been wearing it a ton. This one is made out of 100% cotton. It's a really nice weight and the inside is not brushed fleece. I believe this is called Terry, but basically there's just a bunch of loops of fabric on the inside and it feels really soft and comfortable. And then lastly, I just wanted to talk about this cream colored crew neck that I got from AliExpress. AliExpress is definitely a hit or miss with their products, but I actually feel like these sweatshirts are really nice quality. They're definitely a little bit more lightweight, I would say maybe a little bit more lightweight than the Uniqlo one I just showed, but they're made with 85% cotton, 15% polyester, and the outside material feels super, super soft. The inside is also the terry material. And then I did size up to a size large for this sweatshirt, which I think gives the perfect oversized but not too much fit to it. And I just really like this crew neck in particular because I feel like it's one that's really easy to dress up. It still has that really casual look, but I think it looks really cute paired with some gold necklaces. So I definitely don't wear my white colored sweats nearly as often, but I do think they're really cute for a fresh look if you want to dress up just a little bit more. And then lastly, before I end this video, I do have one pair of socks that I wanted to talk about. I don't know about you, but I have to wear socks constantly when it's cold. I even have to wear socks to sleep, even though sometimes I'll take them off in the middle of the night if it gets too hot. But these guys are my new favorite socks. I feel like I've been seeing these Nike socks on Instagram all summer, and I ended up getting them both in this length, which I think is called the ankle length, as well as the longer ones that look like this. I think these are the ones that I see everyone wear on Instagram that look so cute, kind of scrunched up a little bit. And I don't know if it's my feet or my calves or what, but I can't get these socks to look cute on me and they're also more uncomfortable than the shorter ones so yeah these have been my favorite socks lately they're very basic they just have the cute little nike swoosh but i just think they're really comfortable they have a nice amount of like thickness and padding to them i usually only wear the kind of ankle socks that are a lot shorter than this so it's actually kind of nice to have a little bit of extra fabric warming your ankle <laughs> and yeah they're just a little bit different but i think they're cute and functional and they're pretty much the only socks that I'm wearing nowadays. All right, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I think loungewear is a very essential part of our wardrobe. The holidays are coming up, so I hope everyone is staying safe, and I hope all my American viewers have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye!